Okay, so we're looking at our 340 block. This is the passenger size that would sit in a car. You can see I, I used a wire wheel and a drill, and I wire wheeled a little bit of this just to see what would happen. And you can see it's getting down to the casting. And I'm going to roll it around the other side. I'll show you. I did a little bit with a chemical rust dissolver. Uh, and I'll show you what we got on the other side. All right, so this is the driver's side. I don't know if you can tell, but I uh, I used a chemical rust dissolver yesterday on this side. So I had the block sitting just like this on the stand with that side up. And I sprayed the rust dissolver on with a spray bottle. And I worked it in with this wooden toothbrush, wooden handled toothbrush. And those bristles are plastic. They're not metal, but you could use metal. And you just work it in. And I let it sit for an hour. I rinsed with water, wiped it with rags. And then, you know, do it again as many times as needed. But you can see how, how much, in my opinion, better that works than just using a wire wheel. Um, I could probably do that acid treatment one or two more times and have this totally rust free. I just wanted to share this. Um... Because, like I said, I I was thinking about sending this out to get hot acid tank. But really, all I need is for paint to stick to it. And I think I can get it there, you know, in my home garage without having to transport the block, take it to a shop, wait for the shop to get done with it. Um, all that downtime, even though I'm not in a hurry. Um, but this is kind of a budget, do-it-at-home type project, so... I'm going to try this in the Lifter Valley. Um, see what we got there. Okay, here's another angle. I rotated it one notch on the edge and stand. Another angle of the uh, rust dissolver treated side of the engine block. You can see. Uh, it cleans up rather well. I'm impressed with how the chemical worked. Uh, the key is to put it on and then wait. You know, wait an hour, wait two hours, and then rinse with water, and then do it again. Keep doing it till the rust is gone. I may do it two more times on this. But yeah, you have to let the acid, you have to give it time to do its job. Don't be in a hurry. Okay, so I'm going to treat the lifter valley here. And the product I'm using is Eastwood Rust Dissolver. Uh, but it is very much a evapo-rust type deal. So I'm going to spray this. And we're going to let this sit. For at least an hour. Maybe, you know. I'm going to go do something else and forget about it, basically. And then we'll come back. Oh, I'm not wearing gloves, but I would recommend you wear gloves with this. Um, it will. It will give you a slight burny sensation if you, like, get it on your hands and touch your face or something. So what I'm doing, I'm working this in with the brush. As I said before, uh, you may have to do this a couple times. Um, what I'm looking for is that nice dark gray cast iron look. Um, could I run the engine like this? Yes. But I'm trying to get a nice uh, non-rusty looking lifter valley. Because uh, what will happen is... Anything in terms of dirt or rust will just get pumped through the oil system. Um, and you want, it, you want your oil system to be as clean as possible in a rebuild. And I may not get it all out. It depends on how meticulous you want to be, right? Like down in these cracks here. There may be some nook and cranny somewhere where you won't get it all out. But we'll see. Maybe this stuff will work a lot better. And then keep in mind, you know, you could do all this at home. 
transport this thing in the back of your truck to a car wash, high pressure wash everything out. I may do that anyway once I knock the core plugs out, just to hose out the, the water jackets. Um, total low budget, do it at home stuff. Like the only thing you can't do at home, you can't magna flux, uh, check for cracks, all that type of stuff. Uh, but you, all you can do is naked eye look for cracks. I do not suspect there's anything wrong with this block in terms of cracks. I believe this engine had a spun bearing. That's why it got taken out of service. The crank I had had a spun number uh, four journal. Well, you could say the number two back from the front, but that's where the number three and four piston would bolt on. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm scrubbing it in. And you let it sit. Okay, so it's been about an hour. And what I want to show you is the next step is you would take a spray bottle. This is a low spray bottle with tap water and you spray over your your rust dissolving uh, acid, your rust dissolver. So I'm watering it down. Um, you can work it in again some more with the brush, with the water, it dilutes it. And um, yeah, give it another scrub with uh, you know water. You can see the water laying there around where the, the lifters would go. So keep in mind, this has been sitting about an hour with the rust is over. And this is a uh, a plastic bristle bristle brush. You can use brass or steel, whatever. So this is basically like just like a big toothbrush. And then, uh, I'm going to take a blue shop towel, just start wiping it away. This is kind of tedious work, but if you are uh, trying to save a buck and don't really want to send this out to get hot acid tanked, or don't even feel like loading it into the truck to send it out to get hot acid tanked, this might be an alternative. Um, you can see the rust literally turns up on the rag as like a, a paste. Um, but if you keep wiping, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of, especially right there, you can see the cast metal gray starting to come through. So yeah, you just wipe all the way down through um, you should be able to see the, the gray coming back of the cast see the brown on the towel and then um, you know this is like a repeat let's see the brown on the rag this is a repeat until a desired results are achieved type thing so if you wanted to go crazy you could keep doing this I wouldn't say go crazy, but if you're obsessive about getting it totally gray, I'm sure if you do this a half a dozen times, it will come up nice. I may have to do this again because the only place I really see gray is like right here. I mean, it's better than what it was. Um... And then what will happen is it should be a nice cast iron gray color. A nice clean lifter valley. Acceptable for what we need. Uh, when we run the engine on break-in, we would change the oil anyway after the initial break-in. So hopefully that would clean up any residual grit that's in here. There shouldn't be any grit in your rebuild, but... Um, I don't know if you can see right there's a nice gray coming up um, I may do this again hit it with water one more time
it is kind of messy work. The more and more you wipe, the more it seems like it may be coming up. And then, like I said, you could go outside, use a garden hose with this, rinse it. But yeah, that's uh, an attempt at chemically cleaning up the lifter valley. I'm going to do it one more time with the acid, try back again, see what I got. Okay, here we are. I don't know if you can tell. See it there about three applications of the rust stripper. You should be able to see in the video some of the, the cast iron gray coming through. Uh, the side closest in the video still has some brown in it. Um, this is after about three applications. Brush it in with the brush, come back, rinse it with water, wipe it out. You should be able to see some of the gray coming through of the cast iron it's it's cleaning up nice considering you know the method being used the whole spray rust stripper vapor rust type stuff if you look here this is you know old oil that accumulated there so I mean this cleans up and you go through and you clean these little nooks and crannies out look there's some there if anything, this helps get it real clean. It helps uncover where that's this stuff is. Because before, all you seen was rust brown. You couldn't really pinpoint it. But yeah, see that? That's all old sludge and oil from back when this thing was on the road years ago. This engine was in service. Will the rust stripper get this thing 100% rust free? Uh, possibly if you felt like doing it, you know, as many times as it takes. I am just uh, trying to show you that you can do this at home in lieu of sending the block out to be hot tanked. It's all budget friendly stuff. If you can afford it, by all means, send your block out to a shop. Have them clean it up, shop peanut, whatever they do. Look at all that stuff coming. A little sludge. You just want a good clean lifter valley so none of this stuff comes out when you're running the engine. Little particles of crap see that little particles of old crap look right there little particles of old crap will mess you up in your build you don't want no dirt or farm matter at all when you fire this thing up so yeah uh, if anything that like I said that stripper just helps you to get the stuff clean down the bare metal no uh, leftover oil I may do this again a few more times or leave well enough alone I mean I don't know yet I'll probably do it a few more times I like the way this side looks I don't like the way this side looks um, but yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys let you know that's what I spent a few hours today on with this build alright till next time